A lot of turnovers early that I uh, shouldn't have had. And then the loose turnovers is just miscommunication, and they capitalized off of every one. Yeah, I mean, you guys didn't have CJ, Jose, Dyson. You know, how hard is it to just have a game where you don't have that many guards active? I mean, we have a lot of guys out, but we still went into the game with the mindset of we're going to win this. And it was a very winnable game for us, but I think we just beat ourselves on a lot of things. Willie talked about, you know, late game situations with turnovers, defensive rebounds, and free throws. How much have you kind of seen that as a consistent problem in your situations? Uh, early in the season, uh, it was definitely a big problem for us with all the above and what you spoke on. But uh, I feel like we've definitely improved on it. But tonight, uh, we had some slippage. And I've said it all season, if we want to be one of those elite teams, those contenders, can't do that. Not trying to get you fine, but I mean, another night with just two free throw attempts. Uh, Willie talked about disparity between calls you weren't getting, some of the calls DeRozan was getting. I mean, what do you think when you know the style you play and you look at the box score and there's two free throw attempts? I didn't get fouled. That's all I can say. I didn't get fouled. They didn't call it. I didn't get fouled. Z, how much more advantageous is it when one team's sending a guy 10 times or more free throw line when the other team doesn't? I, I can't answer these questions. I mean, this is tough. I can feel a way, but I'm not a ref. I've never ref a game in my life. Uh, something a little more positive. Uh, these last few games, you guys, your starting group in particular has played really well together. I know it's been kind of an up and down thing prior to that. Just what do you attribute the success to that you guys are finding right out, like out the break with that starting group? Uh, Momentum and just like we said, been saying all year, but before the season, we played what 10 games together. Our chemistry is like coming together. So the more we're on the court together, the more the better we get. And the more we learn, okay, maybe with this matchup, this game is going to be BI to start up, to, to set the tone. Or is it enjoyable to be able to play the style of basketball that you say you know, you're going to play? Uh, it's very enjoyable. Um, and I've said it before, I'm just glad my coaches and my teammates trust me to do that. Um, what I see is uh, I'm aggressive on the attack, but if there's four people there and I have shooters wide open, I just find them. Um, I kind of know where, I kind of look to where the help is going to come from. And once I locate that, I just find a shooter or the open man. Zion, how has your opinion changed of Herb Jones? The last two months, he's shooting probably close to 50% from three. When you look at him, do you see a shooter out there? You can't just leave him open. Before, you can tell teams would like try to leave him open. But what he, what's he shooting three? Like 40, 41? He's shooting a hot clip to where, in my opinion, every time he has a three, I, I think it's good. So I feel like other teams are definitely starting to respect that a lot. And I mean, Y'all see him, he gets downhill really well. So it's, his offensive game is just improving and improving. You talk a lot about uh, Trey kind of going through ups and downs of offense, but seeing him get 10 boards tonight, the other night he had three steals, three blocks, just seeing him finding other ways to impact, impact the game. Uh, I mean, that's just growth as a player. Uh, you know, if, if your bread and butter isn't working consistently and you're, like you said, going through ups and downs, to stay in the game, you got to find other ways to impact the game. And I think he's done a really good job with that. Just uh, kind of going back to you looking at the help um, and specifically how good Herb's been shooting from that corner. How much are you just like kind of looking at that low man, seeing if they're coming over just a little too much and you know, knowing you can trust someone like Herb out there to shoot? Um, you know, teams mix it up. They don't, some teams, uh, I think well, they'll wait to see how I'm going to, how aggressive I'm going to be when it comes to scoring. And other teams are just more loaded up. So sometimes it's just the one dribble drive, easy kick out. Uh, but other nights is more aggressive, uh, more aggressive with scoring. I think so. I